it does not take long in 240, 250 bushel corn to get these trucks full. It's a really good problem to have. Love to see it. Good stuff. Dumping. Second one's behind us. Making it. Bank account. So while I sit here on the cart, got myself a loaf of uh, Amish bread and some Amish peanut butter. Now, Amish peanut butter is basically just 75% marshmallow cream and 25% actual peanut butter, but tastes amazing. Makes you really thirsty though. And I'm out of water. Morning. We're full. As usual. Waiting on a card. Really, really good corn. Making 247 field average. 120 acre field, so take that all day long. Back with an empty truck, but we've got a full cart and about to have a full combine. So he's gonna roll in with the second empty semi anytime. As he gets here, that one will be full. He'll take off with that one. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> Helps to be in neutral. There we go. So let's pick some corn. Well, he made it back just in time for uh, that semi to be full and the cart to be about full and I'm full as well. And he got back in time to see my row of shame. First time this year I've done that. Oh well. Yeah, that's not rain. That'd be corn falling off the tab again. But carts here so we're good definitely raining corn try around try and screw around and switch to beans today it's 3 30 now but I finally got parts in for the bean head uh, my wife went and picked them up for us so a little change of scenery I took the combine in and we're just moving stuff home finally get to drive the tractor and grain cart a little bit haven't really got to do that this year I never get to do it on the go but uh, Nobody else runs combine with me either, so I guess that's kind of why. Not saying I wouldn't let anybody, I just, it's, it's just never happened, so. Anyhow, we got 40 acres left in this 120 acre field. Uh, field average right now is down to 232, but I'll still take it. We're getting on some pretty steep hillsides where the corn's not quite as good, but I'm still really impressed that it's making what it is, so. 232 is very very good for this field um, it's a very very steep field right here where we're sitting is I the camera doesn't do it justice on camera it looks flat but it gets pretty hilly um, especially way back there in the back about the last 60 acres of this is very 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 steep so um, anyhow looking good we are getting extremely dry um, we haven't had a rain in quite some time and don't get me wrong I'm not complaining because I'm planning to switch to soybeans and not go back to corn until we're done with uh, soybeans other than double crops uh, I've got probably a little over 200 acres of soybeans to cut and uh, I'd say close to 250 acres of soybeans to cut and then I've got 150 acres of uh, double crops, but they just now started to turn. Um, and then we've got about 300 acres of corn probably left. So we're making a big dent in it. We're not quite half done, but we're getting there pretty quickly. So life's good. Morning. Yeah, that's a Draper belt pulled in half. Let's get into it. Um, ain't gonna fix itself. So what happened, 
this roller here has splines inside and uh, the splines on the roller didn't wear out the splines on the motor that drives it did uh, they are gone like gone gone so my left side draper belt stopped turning got a new one here so i uh, got the old one out just got to pop a couple hydraulic lines off pop the new one on put everything back together and by the time the dew's off we should be cutting beans so Fingers crossed this goes easier than uh, it came apart because it took me a minute to figure it out. And we're already headed back to the farm because I don't have the right tools. I, I've got some of the right tools, I just don't have enough of them. So back to the farm we go. I really just need to invest in buying a service truck Especially the way this fall's gone so far. Well, the harvest from hell is half over because I just finished this farm up. Uh, this side of the interstate averaged 15 bushel soybeans. Not good. Uh, I'm pretty sure I put more driftwood in the combine than I did soybeans, but... Uh, Basically, this flooded. When it flooded, it had 10, 20 foot of water in it in places uh, for several days, and it just, a lot of places was absolutely nothing. And then some places were 20 bushel at the best. So, not good, but it's over. We broke the head several times down here. Um, it just, so much trash. Uh, I could do good to see the reel on the head, let alone the knife, because they were so dusty. We cut like 70 acres and got two semi-loads, so not good. And no, I didn't really record anything because it was so damn dusty, I was trying to pay attention and I just... Holding the camera was not what I wanted to be doing on top of cutting really, really terrible beans in really, really terrible conditions. You'll just have to live with it. But we're headed to go cut some custom acres now, so... Bean harvest is like, I don't know, I'm within... I'm underneath 300 acres left of soybeans and probably somewhere around 300 acres left of corn, so... 600 acres to go, we've got a pretty good start on things for the season. Morning. It's Monday morning. We are uh, moving the combine in the head. Fortunately, we're not done with this field. We're just working on the damn thing again, and it's got to go to the shop. So, got to have the combine to pick it up. I'm over this head. I'm over it. We've worked on it more than we've cut with it. But back to the shop we go again. Got to love it. And we're back. We're ready to attempt to cut soybeans. And I worked on the head again this morning. We'll see what happens. Might get something done today. Or it'll be a piece of shit like it has been all fall and we'll be working on it again this afternoon. I'm guessing it's more than likely the later one because I just hate this head. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Problem is there's none out there right now to trade it off. So it is what it is morning we're fueling up greasing up and hopefully cutting a lot of beans today fingers crossed this head holds together long enough to do that well it's about noon now and i'm not gonna lie we took it easy this morning we didn't get in any big hurry uh fueled everything up and greased everything that needed grease checked the oil basically got everything here ready got everything shuffled and uh there's still a dew on right now but i'm tired of waiting it's about noon now and uh we're gonna go cut some beans because i'm just kind of tired of waiting so i'm gonna try and get something done went and got some burger king up the road and now we're gonna get something done all righty got another farm done pulling the head to the next field so Going from the furthest 
north soybeans I had, then went even a little bit further north, cut some beans for somebody else. Now I'm headed to the furthest south soybeans I have, so a little bit of a drive, but not too bad. We're just going to spend probably the rest of the night moving two semis, a combine, and a grain cart, and pickups all to where they need to be, so little by little, we're getting it done. Uh, Everybody else is on the road with a semi right now, so I'm kind of moving by myself. But my wife's going to come pick me up, run me back to the combine. That way we don't have to come back for a pickup later. So, Four-wheel steer head cart, highly recommend. Um, thing follows me perfectly. Don't have to worry about swinging wide to make a turn or anything like that. Uh, I thought that it was kind of stupid for what it cost, but after I've got it, um, well worth the money really really like that thing moving narrow county roads and even with the ladder in i'm pretty well taken the entire road but it's all right we haven't met that many cars but it's always fun when you do especially when you meet them on a hill and you both say oh shit and pucker up for a second unfortunately this equipment is not getting made any smaller which it's awesome when it's in the field but it sucks taking it down the road sucks for cars and sucks for the dry guy driving the equipment so i don't know one of the less enjoyable things i get to do during harvest is move down the road which is just a reminder to everyone who is uh on the roads during farming season whether it's spring fall whatever we don't want to be on the road anymore and you want us to be on the road uh we just want to be in the field unfortunately Part of farming is we have to move from field to field, so just be patient. We'll do our best to get out of the way, but uh, sometimes there's not a place to get out of the way. And I see that the neighbor's got a uh, free range bull and a free range cow. Yep, nothing to see here, just eating the roadsides. Well, we cut all but 15 acres, and uh, that piece of shit came apart again. Knife drive, again. That makes the uh, seventh time of the season. I'm over it. Um, that thing can burn in hell, because I am over it. It is what it is, but what it is gonna be is traded. Uh, it's going back the same place it came from which is on an auction and uh full disclosure it's a piece of shit and i'll get what i get out of it i'm ready to cut my losses and just get rid of it at this point so what happened was this side just sheared the bolts off my weld actually held this time on the gearbox i'm missing the spacer that goes through there to there there's a spacer that goes in here weld held so i was cutting with half the knife and now this side came apart but this side's at least still got splines so i think i just got a bunch of shit in it and it came up and came off so i think that side's fixable this side we just got to tap these two bolts out find the spacer put two bolts in theoretically we'll be running again yeah what a piece of shit missing half the fingers too so since the bean head had a high speed come apart and we're more than likely going to have to order parts we are bringing everything home and uh the wiring harness for the cart got wrapped up in the uh pto shaft so it has no lights so i'm following them with the hazards on we're not taking any really big main roads, so it'll be all right. All back roads from here, basically, mostly, except for the highway, but you didn't hear that. <laughs> 